All right, first of all, John, thank you so much for joining us on Astro Super Sports. Really nice to meet you. Can I just bring up something your national team manager said about you? So he compared you to Andre Perlo. Right, I'm sure you've heard about that. What was your first reaction? Obviously, you both are different players, different profile, but that's a big comparison. Yeah, he talked to me always about uh, about Pirlo, that I could be the next Pirlo and kind of these things. Because he knows that I I didn't like to play defensive defensive midfielder. Um, and with the time now, as I play here also, sometimes uh, a little bit more defense. I probably like it, maybe. Um, so with the time it goes, goes, um, I could think about it that um, if they put me there, then then I could be the next Pirlo. But I don't want to be the the next Pirlo. I, of course, a great player as a legend, um, but still I want to do my own way. So. so for the time being, you do believe that is your next stage in development to be that deep line playmaker to dictate things, you know, to start attacks. If it has to be, yes. Okay. If but I stay your up, if it's my choice, I stay like how it is now. Mm. Um, I can attack, I can defend, so I'm gonna do both until I can. At the end, I will see um, if I if I lose my my power a little bit when I'm <laughs> getting older. Uh, I will choose if I want to attack more or defend more, but um, time will tell. So, well, um, you've got uh, plenty of time at this age. Yes. Plenty so I time. will. I will not think about it now. If the manager put me uh, a little bit defend, I'm gonna play there. If he puts me a little bit offense, I'm gonna play there. So. Well, I'll ask you again in a few years' time and see where you go from there. So, can I just talk about the number that you're wearing? Obviously, wearing today number eight. When you come into Liverpool, that's a big, heavy number to wear. Was it offered to you straight away or did you request for it? Did you want it? No, um, as uh, Maka signed before me, uh, he took the number 10. So it was, I don't know, I don't really know which numbers was open. But uh, first they say that 8 is open. I didn't even want to listen to other numbers. <laughs> and I say, yes, I would like to take it. They said, OK, we'll have a think about it because it's a heavy number. Yeah. And then um, they just came back to me and said, um, yeah, you can have a number eight. Did Steven Gerrard ever spoke to you in regards to taking his number? Not because he's taking his number. He, yeah. he just texted me like if I need any help or mm. um, anything he can help with um, in Liverpool or I don't know, find houses or whatever I need, then, then I can text him. Did he advise you on which houses to get and which no, areas he to did, stay? No, he didn't. He didn't. So I had to look to my, it myself. Um, I found a good one now. So mm. so um, no, no advices from him so far? Have you been communicating with him? One? No, no. Okay. It, at the beginning when I, when I signed, he just texted me like, if I need anything, then I should let him know. But um, the club helps me with everything. Mm. So, But if I would need anything, then I would text him. Well, it's good to have that relationship, isn't it? Um, I just want to bring up something that reportedly your father said about smaller feet. That um, Sorry, I did look down at that point. <laughs> um, that smaller feet somehow helps you in your technique, right? Was that true, by the way, that he de did try to make you wear smaller shoes? Well, my feet is anyway small, so... Yeah. But he uh, made you wear smaller shoes than what your feet size was. Sorry. No, it was exactly perfect to my feet. Maybe okay. somebody would say it's too small. Mm. Um, I was like, if it's tight, I liked it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, maybe it helps also yeah. to be more comfortable. Well, it does. According to his theories, is that it generates more power in your shots, right? So can you just sort of tell us the mechanics behind your own shooting technique and how you do it? Well, um, we can see also somebody with uh, 43 can shoot really, really good. Mm. Um, I just, I, I'm just like 41 with the football shoes, so hopefully will not get bigger. <laughs> uh, probably not. But um, I like it how it is, and until it works, it works. Mm. So I'm happy. Well, you spent majority of your senior career in the Bundesliga, and a large chunk of your goals came from set pieces. Right, 35% if I'm not mistaken. 
Can you just tell us your secret behind those stats and set pieces? And here at Liverpool, how are the roles divided during set pieces? Who takes the corner kicks, etc.? Um, a lot of work. Um, practicing a lot, uh, as much as you can. Now it's a little bit harder because we have every three days game, so yeah. it's hard to get another plus training to shoot because your muscle gonna be probably dead <laughs> for the <laughs> game. Um, with the set pieces, we have we have quite a lot um, guys who can really like shoot the corners or the free kicks or the, even the penalties. So we have Trent, we have Mo, we have Maka, we have me. So we just share it and um, who feels better at that time, that who feels it. better are going to take it. Mm. So it will be never uh, any discussion between us. Mm. Right. Of course, we know that it is Jurgen Klopp's final season with Liverpool this season. How much was his factor that it was Jurgen Klopp influence you to join the club? It was, it was, but still, if uh, Liverpool want to sign you, probably you are not thinking about um, about anything. Um, but and an extra is if Jurgen Klopp is the manager. So, of course, he called me. We had a we had a good good talk before I signed. He said he wants me. I say I want to join you. So, mm. it was a a quick decision, but um, yeah. This is football. This is how it works. Um, he gonna leave, have some break, um, enjoy his life. Uh, he did this for a very long time, yeah. but um, we don't know who is coming next. But um, yeah, we are ready. Doesn't matter who is coming. Yeah, it's a short time we have with him, but a very valuable time. Uh, you also made some valuable friendships here at the club. I think Mo Salah recently posted a video of you and Trent in a jacuzzi together, talking about. Bit of a bromance. Are you close to Trent, by the way? Yes, we are. Are you like the closest to him <coughs> compared to the rest? Yeah, probably. Yeah, because there is this sort of bromance going on with Salah as well and Trent. So who's the better best friend to Trent? Is it you or is it Salah? Well, you don't have to ask me. You have to ask Trent uh, about this. But no, I'm close actually with everyone. But mm. we, with Trent, we are the same age. Um, outside of football, we do almost the same things. Um, we hang out quite a bit, so yeah, and also the pitch, we understand each other good. That's it. Okay, let's talk about your national team then. Um, Hungary, since you were appointed captain, I think you were unbeaten, if I'm not mistaken, since 2022, some really good numbers there. What are the expectations for Hungary this upcoming tournament and what are your strengths as a nation? Well, it's hard. Um, it's a long way to go still until the Euros, but... Um, Not that long. <laughs> yeah, still 14 games to go here, mm -hmm. so hopefully. Mm. Um, well, we are, we are a team and for each other we can do everything. Doesn't matter who is it, um, doesn't matter who is playing from the beginning, who is on the bench. It feels like everybody is ready, you know. So as a team we can, we can achieve a lot of things. I don't want to think about it now. Um, but you think there can be a surprise package that maybe other nations don't expect? Maybe, maybe. Uh, probably they don't expect uh, us to go through in the group. Our goal is to go through and then from there every game is like, um, like a chance. So we're gonna enjoy it. We will not have any, any, any pressure on us because it's also a pleasure to be there. Mm. But um, yeah, first of all, we want to go through it in the group and then we can have another talk about it okay. afterwards. Okay, we'll see what happens then. We'll catch up once again. Thank you so much for joining us. All the best Thank for you. Liverpool and of course for Hungary as well in the Euros. Thank you.